Hello, this is Tony Walker. Got a, another little upload series, a series of videos I'm going to do in the next couple of days. A um, couple of things that I've acquired in the last, well, I say acquired in the last, I acquired several months ago, and in all honesty, just hadn't had the time to, to make the videos. And uh, But one thing about the next wave of videos that are going up, most of it is stuff that I've actually put to good use the last eight to ten months or so. Um, if you if you've kept up with the videos, if you're one of the subscribers, and thank you thank you those of you who have subscribed and watched the videos, especially considering there hasn't been a whole lot of new stuff uploaded, people still watch it, so I appreciate that. But uh, if you watched the the update video um, that I posted a few months ago, uh, in a in a different place now than I was a year or two ago, I'm thankful for that opportunity, and and when that came. Um, a lot of the EDC type stuff that had just been in theory that I never got to actually put to, to real, real good use. Uh, the last, since last, um, last April or so, I've been using a lot of this more on a day-to-day -day basis. So the videos that I'm going to upload today, or you're probably all watching at, at one time, going to try to record all of them today, is stuff that I've actually been using on a daily or almost daily basis, which means that if it's not just a video saying what I think I'll like about it, but what I've actually uh, used from it and gotten good use out of it. Now, the first one is, um, well, you probably, if you haven't, you may have seen it on the channel, uh, my video on this, just a, a plain uh, matte black Fisher Space Pen. It's still going strong, um, still serves its purpose. I use this when I'm sitting at my desk or uh, sitting at home taking notes or... Um, writing writing study notes or writing in my journal something where i want a more comfortable um comfortable writing i don't use this um out day to day really because it, i'd lose it um the clip isn't the it's held up better than it did at the very beginning um i you know you put a little drop in there and slide it on and it'll attach a little better um but I, as far as keeping this in my pocket I don't, this usually stays at my desk. But what I did to make up for that, or but the reason that's sitting at a desk and not with me day to day, Fisher also makes one of these. Um, they call it a, a trekker or tracker, uh, T R E K K E R, I believe it's called, uh, space pin. Um, it comes with a split ring around the cap as well as a little D ring that comes with it. Um, I, I took both those off and I just made my own uh, as simple as possible keychain when I'm in and out of my truck day to day want something as small as possible so this is just a few inches of paracord uh, of end cap that would go like on a zipper pull you can get those at lighthound.com and then a few little keys um, uh, vehicle house office and the building key so try to keep that as light as possible so um uh, I've used this since, like I said, probably last April or so, and it's held up very well. Serves its purpose when I'm in and out of my truck and going to people's homes. If they're not home, I'll usually, more often than not, leave a note in the door saying that I stopped by. And I, instead of trying to keep up with this in my pocket and worry about losing it or washing it or anything like that, I bought this so I can keep it with me all the time on my keychain, or actually serve as the keychain. Um, if you pull it out, you'll see that's the, now the cap doesn't attach to the top, um, like this Fisher Space Pen does. It, it's not going to do that. So you're probably not going to, especially if you've got big hands, my hands are pretty small, but even on a hand as small as mine, you can see that the pen still doesn't make it. So it's not going to feel like a full size pen, unless maybe if you're holding it like that, then it, you may not be able to tell the difference between the two. Um, with the cap not, or with this cap not on this one, that would give you an idea on the size. Um, not quite identical, maybe just a couple millimeters from being exactly the same length. Um, but it does come uh, with the cap, pops in there, with, it doesn't screw. Sometimes I wish, I wish they had a, done it where it screwed, where maybe it feel a little more secure. Um, but it does snap in there. Uh, in all honesty, there this has slipped out of the cap a couple of times. Um, 
thankfully I've always been able to find the pen by backtracking usually at, at home or church or something I can go back and look in a room and it'd be sitting in the floor um, but the one good thing yeah, I don't know if this is standard practice or just good customer service I'm sure it's probably standard practice the first cap that I had when I noticed that it started getting loose I sent Fisher an email and told them that I use it on a on a daily basis multiple times a day probably 50 60 percent of the uh, visits I stop at nobody's there so I'll pull it out and write a little note on my card and stick it in the door pop it back on and hop in my truck crank it up and go to the next place and it's out again um, and doing that you know five six seven eight nine ten times a day whatever it is however the day goes is going to take its toll on it um, so I, I wish it was more of a screw one that would screw in um, but it's not it's just a friction based so uh, they were kind enough to send another one of these caps out that cap probably lasted maybe maybe five six months I guess um, and I've let it go a little too long so more than likely I'm probably going to be send them on, sending them an email maybe every four or five months asking for a new cap and I can already tell I've had this one for a few months and I can tell it's loosening up um, it's still got that looseness right there but it's still hanging in there strong the last cap it just got to where it it would actually um, every once in a while when this was hanging from my ignition if I was to hit a big bump it would actually fall out of the cap that's how loose the the first one got but learned my lesson not going to let it get that loose again before I request another one so all in all this was a, a good purchase um, use it all day every day uses the same refills as these obviously um, and so if you you got a, a fine or medium point refill that you like and you've got a custom to um, and you like everything looking uniform with one pin, just get the same refill, put it in here, and um, you can have this for your on-the-go riding, and you can have this one for your more riding when you're stationary at a desk or whatever. So uh, that's the first little video for you today. That's the Fisher Trekker Space Pin. Uh, again, normally when you get it in the package, it comes with a split ring through that opening right there, as well as a little D-ring. And I think it even came with some cord, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I, I got rid of those two things and just put it on here to keep it as minimal as possible. So I uh, hope that that's informative if that pen is something you've been looking at. Um, that'll conclude this video. If you will, take a look at the other videos. See if there's something else on my YouTube channel that would be of interest to you. And as always, you can check out PreacherTony.com uh, for some materials there. Thanks for watching.